Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central and uh, let's get started with today's news. Now this was one of the news stories we had last week. So um, the American actress Ariel Winter, who's on Modern Family, was spotted wearing a GNR shirt and that's not the news story. The insane part is how much this GNR shirt actually costs. So I was curious to see like where you could buy this from because I've never seen this GNR shirt before. So there's a website called Revolve.com that sells the exact same shirt for I shit you not 160 bucks US, which is about $211 Canadian. And if you go to like places like Shop Style and List, like spell L Y S T, you can search Guns N' Roses mer- mer- merchandise by like the most expensive first. And like, yeah, you can buy like GNR shirts for like a couple hundred dollars. And it's kind of insane that people shell out this kind of money. I would doubt even if she is that big of a GNR fan, but it definitely is a cool looking shirt. And it's sometimes nice to see some designs I haven't seen before. Turning now to some Duff news. Now we have some more evidence that Duff is putting out a new album possibly soon. Sounds like it's going to be a solo record. And we had already known he was working with producer Shooter Jennings. And even Duff alluded to the fact that he was working on new music on many different fronts, as he put it. So there's an interview that was um, done with um, guitarist Jesse Dayton. So he revealed that he's actually recording guitar parts for Duff McKagan's new album. Now, according to the interview he gave, uh, the article says the Texas-based musician, musician has recorded guitar parts for the likes of Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash, Ray Prince, Ray Price, Willie Nelson, Johnny Bush, and Glenn Campbell. Not to mention his contribution to the music for Rob Zombie's films The Devil Rejects and Halloween 2. He appeared on the latter as Captain Clegg. And he's also penned and directed the movie Zombex. And today Dayton is in between sessions recording guitars for Duff McKagan's next album. He said it breaks up the monotony for me. He says of recording guitars for others. It's a great way to step away from my own music and concentrate on someone else's. I've always enjoyed it. Plus I'm humbled that I'd be, that, uh, I'd be picked to help on someone's album. So as we get more information on Duff's solo record or whatever project he's working on, I will keep you guys up to date. Turning now to some other Duff news, uh, this actually involves Slash as well. So during the band's first date as part of this leg of the Not In This Lifetime tour, they were playing Mexico and uh, Duff and Slash actually snuck away with some of the Entourage members and watched the new Queen movie Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, And there's actually footage you guys can see, so I've linked to it down below. I saw Bohemian Rhapsody, and uh, I thought it was a really well-done movie. It was better than I was expecting it to be. But, of course, there was a number of inaccuracies in the movie, and they kind of made it seem like it was Freddie Mercury's fault that the band had broken up or fallen apart, kind of like in the mid-'80s, which, um, you know, it's kind of funny when you're dead, you really don't get to tell your version of the events. But overall, I think it was definitely worth watching if you're a fan of Queen. Turning now to some other news regarding Guns N' Roses. So the Eagles of Death Metal have revealed that they're going to be covering a Guns N' Roses song on their upcoming cover album. So if you guys remember, Eagles of Death Metal opened up a show for GNR in Cleveland back in 2006 at the Quicken Loans Arena. And Axel basically fired them the same night. That I think it was the first night opening. The crowd didn't really have a positive reaction to them. And Axel referred to them as the Pigeons of Shit Metal. So that's going to be uh, the name of their new album. It's going to be called The uh, Eagles of Death Metal Presents The Pigeons of Shit Metal. And they're going to be covering the song It's So Easy. Now, it used to be up on YouTube, their cover of It's So Easy from years back. It was a god-awful cover. And I've never been a fan of the Eagles of Death Metal. I don't really understand why people like their music that much. Although I do like Josh Homme's work in Queens of the Stone Age. But it's just not been a band that I've really been into. But um, their album should be really coming out any day now. And you guys should be able to go check it out uh, when it drops. Turning now to a positive note um, that we've had uh, over the past week. So it turns out Scott Weiland's son and Slash's son are apparently good friends. It probably dates back to the Velvet Revolver days. But uh, it looks like uh, Scott Weiland's 17-year-old son named Noah recently shared a photo with London Hudson, who's Slash's son, who's 16, um, on Instagram. So as you guys know, London is a drummer of the rock band Classless Act, which recently opened for Slash uh, in Los Angeles at the Hollywood Palladium. And Noah Weiland is apparently an aspiring musician too, but he has yet to publicly release any of his original music. So in the photo, Weiland is wearing the same 7-Up jacket his father wore during the STP's core era, and Noah made appearances on stage with Stone Temple Pilots in early 2010s, including doing the dead and bloated intro on stage at a Los Angeles show in October of 2010. 
So Noah Wyland recently wrote to London on Instagram with the emoji star, and London responded, I, I effing love you, bro. So this is the photo that uh, you guys can see. So Noah will turn 18 later this month, and Noah's sister Lucy is 16 years old. Noah and Lucy released a playlist of their favorite Scott Wyland songs last year to honor what would have been their dad's 50th birthday. So the list was posted on Stone Temple Pilots' social media accounts, and as you guys know that Scott Wyland tragically passed away in December of 2015, so we're coming up on the three-year anniversary of that. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed that, and be sure to subscribe if you love GNR as much as I do. And go check us out on GNRcentral.com for the latest breaking guns and roses and related news ticker. Oh